Have you ever heard of Japanese encephalitis? This acute infectious disease caused by a virus affects the central nervous system, particularly the brain. It is prevalent in Asian countries, especially in Southeast Asia. The Japanese encephalitis virus spreads through respiratory transmission when an infected person coughs, sneezes or talks. The disease can cause severe symptoms such as high fever, headache, stiff neck, seizures, consciousness disorders and even death. The primary cause of Japanese encephalitis is the virus itself, which belongs to Group B of the Flaviviridae family and is transmitted through mosquitoes. The disease's incubation period, typically lasting 5 to 14 days, presents no symptoms. The onset stage can then bring high fever, often exceeding 38 degrees Celsius, severe headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and loss of appetite. The neurological stage may involve stiff neck, seizures, consciousness disorders, confusion, coma, facial or muscle paralysis, and language disorders. During the recovery stage, some patients may fully recover, while others may face long-term neurological sequelae such as paralysis, epilepsy, and mental disorders. Diagnosing Japanese encephalitis involves a clinical examination where a doctor will inquire about your medical history and symptoms and conduct a general examination. Blood tests can help determine if you have contracted the Japanese encephalitis virus. A cerebrospinal fluid test can help identify if the virus has infiltrated the central nervous system. Currently, there is no specific cure for Japanese encephalitis. The primary treatment goal is to support the symptoms and prevent complications. Treatment measures include respiratory support through ventilators if the patient has difficulty breathing, fever reducers like paracetamol or ibuprofen, anticonvulsants for seizures, diuretics or corticosteroids to reduce brain swelling, nutritional support via intravenous feeding if the patient cannot eat or drink, and prevention of severe complications such as paralysis, epilepsy and mental disorders, which requires close monitoring to detect and treat promptly. Preventing Japanese encephalitis involves vaccination, the most effective preventive measure. The vaccine can protect you from the disease by up to 90%. It is recommended for residents in endemic areas or those at high risk of the disease. Mosquito eradication, especially of the Culex species, is another crucial preventive measure. Regular insecticide spraying, elimination of mosquito breeding grounds and the use of mosquito nets are recommended. Personal protection measures include using mosquito repellent, wearing long-sleeved clothing when outdoors in the evening, especially in endemic areas. Remember, if you experience any symptoms of Japanese encephalitis, Consult a doctor for timely diagnosis and treatment. Japanese encephalitis is a dangerous disease that can potentially be fatal.